Now, this looks very pretty and relaxing, but this is honestly one of the most intense shooters I've played in a long, long time. And that's probably because it's not your usual Battle Royale game. This is the Cycle Frontier and it's a so-called Extraction Royale game. It's also the sponsor of this video. Now, not too many games are or have this kind of game mode as of now, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very popular over the next couple of years. So where traditional Battle Royale games, it's all about killing other players and being the last man standing, in the Cycle Frontier, it's more about actually dropping in an already hostile environment, looting, getting some good gear, completing objectives, and then getting the hell out of there. And I think a lot of you will appreciate the more immersive, slow-paced, intense gameplay of the Cycle Frontier compared to, let's say, your, you know, your usual fast-paced Battle Royale. Well, the good news is that the Cycle Frontier is 100% free to play, and it's now available on Steam and the Epic Game Store. Season 1 just started as well, and you can check the game out with the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, like I said, don't let the pretty graphics fool you because the nature of the game makes it extremely intense. You prepare your own loadout, get dropped in on this alien world, and because it's a PvPVE, you will encounter enemy AI as well as real players, and that's where the fun really starts. Those players might be scavenging for a little while already and may have a ton of good loot. So do you try to engage them and risk your own loot in the process, or do you avoid them altogether? Or maybe even be friendly with them with the proximity chat because plenty of people just want to do their objectives. Now, the coolest part of this game is that there are no queues or waiting times. You simply drop in and out of a server and each server has a six hour runtime. You can choose between two planets to drop in and they both have a ton of loot, obviously some better than others, depending on which area you're scavenging in. Of course you can play with friends, but if you're playing solos, it can really get your heart going. And it may look something like this. Why do I always feel anxious when I go out of this pod and I think I'm gonna get immediately annihilated? I mean, this game looks pretty, but it's way scarier than the I would say kind of cartoony graphics would indicate, but it's way scarier than it seems. So we do have a couple of starting objectives. Somebody just dropped in there. And I never know if to hunt them or if I should actually focus on my objectives. Okay, regardless, we do have a couple of starting objectives, but I mainly want to make my way towards the middle of the map because I heard there is more advanced loot there, better loot. Now I can also choose to go towards an enemy, even though they will kill me in one second probably. And actually try to make friends, because you do have proximity chat in this game, which is a lot of fun. What is all that noise in the distance? Also, hello. What if we take out this little guy? Is that a strider? I still don't know the names of these creatures. Oh, he's not dead? Really? For some reason, I really thought that a pickaxe or a... Uh... Okay, so a shotgun will do. What the hell is that? Let me pick up that. Okay. I need that for my objective, as you can see. Deliver spinal bases. So I can now uh, decide to extract, go back to my base and complete, a, uh, complete an objective. Which is obviously still a very easy objective because I'm still a noob and I just started playing this game. But I think I'm going to venture a little bit deeper into the map. You hear that? There are people there. I just want to talk with some people. It would be pretty fun. Let's see if they will talk back. Okay, so I ought to be careful because there is somebody here. Nine times out of ten, they are not friendly, at least not towards me. So somebody just extracted. Fair enough. That's what I like about this game. It's like um, it's like a constant server, and you can just drop in and out. There's a guy right there. Yo, can you hear me? Yo, bro, can you hear me? Please don't shoot at me, I'm a noob. Oh, that's what you... That's what you get, buddy. That's what you freaking get. I told you not to shoot at me. Let's heal up quickly. I told him not to shoot and he did anyway. Also... That scared the bananas out of me. Looks like he had a bunch of stuff. So I assume this was, that was his uh, getaway vehicle. But since he died, he didn't make it. And now I got all his loot. So I think for now, I wanna extract myself. Oh, we need to go all the way over there. 
Oh, that's gonna take a that's a long walk, but let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. I want to get the hell out of here. I want to make. I want to secure that loot. And we killed one player. That's better than I've done so far. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I don't want to take the chance. Also, what the hell is this? We do have a flashlight. Ooh, interesting. Yo, what the? It's a pump action shotgun. I already have it, so I'm not gonna take it. Actually, why not? I have room. We still have such a long way to go. Just to show you guys, this is where we need to go to get the hell out of here. That scared the hell out of me. Okay. Call, press Y to call in the evac ship. Oh no, 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 no. This, this is what you call very bad. This is really bad. Thank goodness for this shotgun. There is my ship. I need to get on the ship. ASAP. If I get killed right before I get I make it into my ship, I'm gonna be very angry. Of course he hits me. Okay, get in. I'm safe. Come on, just get get out of here. Get out of here, ship. Oh wow. Oh I made it out. <laughs> I made it out. Oh, I had one time where an enemy, like a human enemy, actually wanted to get me while I was leaving. That was the scariest thing ever. But as you can see, we safely evacuated. We got a bunch of nice things. I don't know what half of them is, but I know they're good. And it's worth like 9,000 credits or whatever it's called. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so now we are back at our home base, if you will, the main station. Here you can check in with different factions which will have different objectives for you, like I mentioned earlier. And by completing those objectives, you will rank up within those factions and get faction-specific benefits. You can also shop for things like guns, attachments, supplies, and all of that stuff. You can check your battle pass progress, of course, craft specific gear, and you also have your own personal quarters that you can upgrade as well. All of this will help you prepare for your next mission. Okay, here we go. This time, we're gonna go to the What's it called? Crescent Fall. So this is hard difficulty. This is where all the sweats are. I should not be going here, especially on my level, but I'm gonna do it just for the video. We gotta insure this because I don't wanna lose this. Okay, here we go. Now we insured our weapons. So if we die, which we probably will, uh, we'll, we will most likely get those weapons back. So that's good. And, but I just wanna be on this map just to, you know, just to look around and see what it's all about. Because I, I should not be going there. Somebody's there, somebody's there. Should I grab my sniper rifle and go for it? Okay, so this is my sniper rifle. Oh, the, those two times scope is actually pretty decent. Wait, somebody's there? It's really, really close. Let's see if we can get him. He's right there, he's right there. Hopefully we'll go this direction. Maybe we can catch him off guard. right here audio decoy gonna move that there oh my goodness I missed I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. He had much better weapons. You see what I mean? I really thought I could have him. He now has a freaking free sniper rifle. If I actually hit him the first time, I think I might have gotten him. But he was in the dark. I couldn't really see him. We're going in one more time. This time, we're not gonna take anything with us. So we're not gonna lose out on any loot or anything. I just want to make one friend in this game. One friend. That's it. Okay, let's make some friends. I see some... I see somebody. Yo, bro. I only have a knife. I only have a knife. Don't shoot at me. Please don't shoot at me, buddy. Also, get the hell out of here. I know you're in there. Trust me, I only have a knife. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to make some friends in this game. You feel me? I'm right here. I can't shoot you. I can't do anything. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Why are you running away? Oh, there you are. Don't shoot me. Please. I don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I freaking killed him with my knife. 
If that is not karma, I don't know what is. Maybe they don't hear me? Let me check the settings real quick. Okay, so there is a chance that they did. <laughs> there is a chance that they didn't know or they didn't hear me. So we're gonna try it again. Just heard some gunshots from this direction. Hello, hello, don't shoot, don't shoot. I only have a knife, I only have a knife, bro. Yo, can you hear me? Yo, bro, can you hear me? Excuse me. What is this guy doing? <laughs> can you hear me? Oh, you just... <laughs> Okay, this guy is the noobest guy ever. Can you hear me? Jump up and down if you can hear me, please. Nice, nice. Do you have a mic? I want to convince him to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be pretty funny. Yo, don't you have a microphone or anything? I understand. Look what he's doing. I don't think he has any clue what to do. Hell yeah, nice job. Watch out! Oh! Oh, I think I killed you on accident! Oh, guys, I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I, ca <laughs> I killed him! I can't believe it, I killed him! No, I feel so bad! Okay, we're gonna make another friend. There's fighting over there. I can't believe I killed that guy. I feel so freaking bad. Yo, 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 yo! Don't shoot me, please. I only have a knife. I only have a knife. Don't shoot me. What's up, bro? Hey. How you doing? Hello. Good. Listen, I, uh, I only have one objective, and that is to convince some random player to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Would you do that, please? Uh, what's your YouTube channel? Okay, just go to YouTube and type in T-Bag. T-B-A-G. Uh, is it T-Bag Epic Gaming? Yeah, that's the one. That's my channel. 500,000 subscribers. That's the one. Uh, 517, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, have you subscribed? Yeah, I did. Thank you, man. Okay, you are now allowed to kill me. Go ahead. Wait, let me... I'm gonna drop my stuff. Hold on. No, you do have nothing. <laughs> I legit have nothing, no. I came, I came into this match just to make friends and to convince somebody to subscribe to my channel. So, appreciate you subscribing, man. Appreciate it. Uh, no problem. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's the perfect ending to the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. Don't forget to check the game out. Season 1 just launched. Check the link down below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time. <laughs>